Hey there, Gemini. Welcome. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see. Okay, we have the challenge. Now, this is for December 2023 reading. And somehow I got pulled away. So someone is loses, has a very bad attention span. Because I'm doing your reading and that never happened to me before. And all of a sudden I just got pulled away. It's like, what was that? So I, I'm whoever I'm tapping into or someone that they're dealing with does that. Let's see. We have here the Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding back. Let's see. We have Judgment. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So someone might be holding on to someone. And they're trying to come back in. And now they want to work. I think someone's trying to come back in. And maybe you're holding back from them. Or they're not opening up to you. Let me see what we get here. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Devil Energy. Okay. So we could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or someone could be hiding something from you. Something that they could have an addiction. Or they could have obsession. Fear. I think they're trying not to let you see something. Okay, now the judgment. Eight of Pentacles. To work with someone. to Whether or not you want to. This could be a job thing too. Whether you want to work with someone. Work someplace. Because we do have the three of Pentacles. It could be definitely a work. There's a move. There's, see, there's something hidden here. Secrets. Something unknown. Okay. Let's get another one. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles with the Devil. Why is that here together? The Four of Cups. Someone not seeing an opportunity or offer here or maybe not interested. And maybe this person is obsessing over you, but you're not interested in them. But they don't want to let you go. That's the main energy I'm feeling. But they're, I don't think they're honest with you. I don't think they're open about something here. And we have, see the Hierophant. Someone definitely wants a commitment. They want to work with you. They're trying to come back in. You're, it's up to you what you want to do. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. And what about the Three of Pentacles and the Moon? Pisces energy. We have the Hang one. Definitely a strong Pisces. So this is a Hang, uh, hang, hang energy. <laughs> this is Pisces energy too. This is the Hang energy. <laughs> okay. So this is Moon. This is hiding something. Emotions, I would think. To work together though. But... You know, waiting almost feels like this person wants to work with you. They want to be with you. I'm getting the oddest energy. This person really, really, really wants to be with you. But they don't tell you. <laughs> they don't say anything. It feels like they want this, but they don't let they they want you really bad, but they don't let you in. That where I was getting the distraction? I, I it's really weird. Okay, let's see what happened in the past. The hermit. You see someone keeping to themselves. Maybe going in their cave. But they want commitment. Look how they're turning away from the four of wands. Want commitment, but turns away from it. Starts seeking. See, this person gets distracted for some reason. the emperor is this person like um someone that is in charge of something someone that's in in power so it almost feels like they want something and wow, i'm getting the weirdest energy from this this reading it feels like this person really wants something but it's like they're used to getting whatever they want and you're not someone that just you know whatever so you want something you get it no you don't you don't play that way Okay, so Virgo energy, Aries energy. Mm. Okay, let's see what else we get. Very strange. So the Hermit. Let's see why we get the Hermit here. Two of Wands. Planning something. This person is planning something. There might be planning, a tr or this was in the past. They might have been trying to plan a trip with you. Or maybe a plan to come see you at a crossroads. Okay, and then we have, see there's some kind of conflict or something going on here. 
almost feels like this person plays games. There could be other people. It could be competition here. And why do we have the Emperor? I hope this reading makes sense because right now I'm totally confused in it. And it's like, I know it makes sense to someone. See, it's the Emperor, new beginning, new start. This person might be starting a new company. Or is this you that you started a new company? This was the past energy. I keep this past energy is very much feeling like present energy. But we, of course, this could be recent past. But it still very feels like now as I'm going. So I keep on wanting to say now when it's supposed to be past. Okay, so we have the Hermit, the Two of Wands, the Death. So something ended here. Something that needed to end. There might be, like, you know, the thing is that something ended in the past, but this person does not let go of it. So no matter how far in the past this was, this could be a recent past, go way back, this person is still living in the present, like it's still, like you're still together, if that makes sense. They act like you're still together, I think. Four of Wands, five of Wands. We have here the Eight of Cups. Yeah, but there's a walking way here in the past. I think you walked away from them, but they're not acknowledging that. Okay, um, the Emperor and the Fool, we have the High Priestess. Look at this Major here. Okay, all Majors. So we have the Emperor, the Fool. There's something hidden here. There's some kind of secrets. Or it also could be that maybe you were in your power here, um, starting something new on your own because your intuition was like you're tapping into your intuition. Um, the High Priestess Virgo Cancer Energy. Oof, this is making my head spin. This person's energy is like all over and, and then then like drifts off. It almost feels like they're, they're all over the place and then they're just like, they're in someone, uh, they, they left. But they're still there, but they left. Does that make any sense? Okay, now, the present energy. Let's see the present moment. What we get for that? Should be interesting. We have the Five of Wands. There's some kind of competition, some kind of fight, some kind of arguments, maybe. We have the Seven of Cups. Choices, options, confusion. I'm not sure what to do here. It's Eight of Pentacles. This could be something with your work. I almost feel like there's some kind of chaos going on at work. They might be competitions or choices or confusing or options, which way we go and we're working on something. I almost feel like it's the environment itself. That at your work environment, I don't know if they're doing something, they're changing something, they're upgrading the system maybe. But it's like, do we do this? Do we don't do that? With the they tell me with the package for this upgrade, they this they chose not to choose not to put something in the package because it's more money. But it would save steps, but it actually is making more confusion, if that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever this, uh, the system upgrade here. Okay. So what about the five of wands? The three of swords. There's, um, there's interference. There's too much interference in something. I think it's a, a, something to do with your work. They almost maybe there's three like head honchos that are fighting over something. How it should be actually be playing out here. Now the seven of cups. We have the knight of wands. We have a person here within this environment that is very good at everything. So if they're like an IT person, there they could handle all of it. They could handle the server. They could handle. Um, individual people they get it's just like they know a little bit about everything when some people have like a specialty there's one person it's like that's the one you go through and they're very busy because everybody wants them so it's causing some kind of chaos here because you know this person is only one person okay what about this eight of pentacles we have the king of wands Someone is working hard on mastering something here. So I think you might be working hard at work and trying to bring yourself up a level. But it's kind of hard in this crazy environment. Let me get a charm for this um, Knight of Wands. Let's see, Okay, we have Thor's Hammer here. That's what we came down to the conclusion. This is Thor's Hammer. I still, still want to get my little 
thing here to okay I'll just take my glove again okay so here so someone might be like this person has a lot of power a lot of energy and um very good with the energy too this knight of wands whether that's your energy or someone else but yeah we got thor's hammer here coming in <clears throat> in control okay now this king of wands now for some this also someone could be in an environment on stage here too could be a singer lead singer we have here the tree so with the tree it's um strong roots strong um branching out i feel like someone is actually branching out through this chaos it almost feels like i'm dealing with different energies here of course because it's general e ener um, general reading but i feel like someone here is like um, mastering things to bring themselves to to the king of wands here which could be your energy it could be someone else's someone else you're dealing with in the environment here but i also feel that someone is um just they have many talents and they're actually um, working hard on bringing themselves into a leadership position for someone here, too. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So, for the Five of Wands and Three of Swords, we have here strength. Yeah, you're going to need to go through this. Someone is very strong and resilient and able to get through this, even though... There's like a lot of chaos around me. So like even with the dog walker, a dog walker has to handle multiple dogs with different temperaments, different personalities. And look how calm and collective. So I feel like this is your energy. You're handling this very nicely, but there's a lot of chaos around you at work. It's like crazy stuff. Now the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups of Options. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is someone really focusing on their money. So this could be your energy, could be someone else just working on their uh, their their finances. But let me get a charm on this. We have here, we have an airplane. So this could be someone traveling. Um, almost feels like going the distance or there is a distance here between people maybe. Could be between the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. There could be options, choices. But there is an airplane, so it could be something of travel moving, fast movement. Let's see about the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Wands. We have the Fool, a new beginning, a new start. I think, yeah, I think you're working really hard on doing something here that's going to bring you into a better, a better position. You might also be thinking about learning what you can in this chaotic environment and then going out on your own, doing your own thing, or working for another company but something that isn't so chaotic but like you're uh, it feels like you're putting your you're letting yourself go through this crap right now saying okay i'm feeling like someone's like let me make, make my mistakes here because i don't care and you might be experimenting more or trying different things because you figure i don't i don't really care the impression i'm making here because i'm working with a bunch of clowns you know i that's the energy i'm feeling for someone here it's very weird okay so let's see about the knight of wands admitted jealousy expect okay so the knight of wands i almost feel because you are capable of doing so many things or this person whoever the knight of wands is is capable of being a jack of all trades they are having other people around them jealous because everybody is wanting them it's like um let's say joe is this knight of wands and they'll say well you know, Terry can help you. No, I want Joe. I, I know Joe's going to do it right. And they'll say, well, how about Bob? No, I want Joe. Okay. Now, what about this Queen of Pentacles? Excited. Finances. Intruder. Intruder. So someone got really excited about someone maybe intruding in their finances now this could be excited good could be excited bad let's see let's get a and we are working on the queen of pentacles look someone's focusing on their money here they have a handful of money and someone's getting excited about someone maybe 
trying to get involved in their finances somehow. Okay, what about this King of Wands? Serious. Present. Lion. You know, I for, when I looked at this word, sometimes words change for me. I also can see the wrong card too sometimes. Um, but it's like I was seeing service and says serious. So if that means anything to you, someone could be in of service or something of the service or or something of some service they, they performed or received. Anyway, we have serious present lying. So someone might be feeling that someone is seriously lying about something or they're lying about something serious. Now they, this could be someone presenting something and they're lying about it or it could be in the, well this is present energy. So let's say someone pr presently is lying about something very serious. Oh boy, that this t this reading is tiring me out. It's like a lot of energy. Like someone's I whoever's in this work environment comes home extremely exhausted, and they could have a very light workload that day. But it's the environment, the the energy around them is all chaotic, and it's and someone whoever this person is that I'm tapping into is very serious and they're empathic they're very did i say serious i didn't want to say serious i want to say um sensitive and serious came out see my words are changing what is going on here i wanted to say very sensitive to the environment that, and um you feel this this exhaustion and it has nothing to do with you. It's, it's the environment around you that's pulling at you. Okay, so now, whew, let's go into the future. I want to pull out of that anyway. Let's go into the future here. We have the sun. Yay! Happiness, Leo energy, maybe clarity on the situation. And we have here the six of pentacles. Things balancing out. A, a good even take because before, look, I can't speak even even give and take i'm skipping words and then we have strength here so the sun the strength we have the strength here too it feels like you're going to have the strength to do whatever you need to do here to tame the savage beast to get things in control to balance things out you're going to be able to do that okay let's see what else we have here Whew. I just this, this reading I'm gonna have to take a nap when I finish it because it's whose ever energy I'm tapped into, who, whatever you're going through, it is exhausting. Okay, so we have here the sun. The Queen of Swords, speaking your truth. Um really calculating and looking at things, taking things apart. Examining something. Look, person looks like they're examining this pencil pencil or pen, whatever it is. Really looking at it, really taking something apart here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, let's see here. The Six of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. Ooh. So, healing something. Someone in the future wants to come in and heal something. I think someone might be coming in after they really think about something and really look at something, really, um, like, really inspect something. They're going to... Um, want to come in and speak the truth or this is you wanting the truth because you know you could be the queen of swords but there is going to be some truth coming out here because someone wants to heal a situation now the strength card the page of pentacles someone's have maybe trying to gain the strength to come in with an offer a proposition a gift an idea a, a almost feels like um they want to break the ice, so they're trying to think how they could do that. Okay, let me get a charm on this Queen of Swords. The scissors. This is a fancy pair of scissors. Someone wants to cut something out, remove something. Uh, of course, you know, speaking the truth here, it's like almost feels like cutting out any kind of bull. Okay, now let's see about this Page of Pentacles. Okay, divine timing, destiny, wheel of fortune, taking control. Someone wants to come towards you with an offer. They're trying to get the strength to come in and take control of the situation. Okay, now, the sun and the queen of swords. The empress. Ooh. Now, this is um, Libra Taurus energy, but I would say this is your energy. 
you know, speaking your truth about what you want in the future and giving birth to something new, a new business, a new career. I think if you're in this environment here, you're going to be maybe opening your own, um, I want to say practice, company, um, business, whatever it is. I think you're going to do something on your own that makes you very happy. Something you're really good at here. Okay, now why is the Six of Pentacles and Four of Swords here? We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone definitely wants to come towards you and heal a situation. They want to come in here and offer you their cup of love, a new beginning. Okay, and what about the Strength card with the Page of Pentacles? We have here the Ten of Pentacles. So there's an offer coming in here that someone wants to make. It could be for a commitment. It also could be for something that is um, financially lucrative here for you. Okay. So let's do the Queen of Swords. What's the word on the Queen of Swords? We have message. Never. Apology. Freedom. So you're going to receive some kind of message. And it might be an apology. Maybe you never expected it, or maybe it brings you freedom. Take this how this might resonate with you. Move around the words how they make more sense to you. Let's see about this page of pentacles. Marry the ex. Karma. Okay, so the ex is getting some kind of karma. It has something to do about getting married. Maybe they remarried, or something happened in their marriage. They're getting karma. Maybe you were married to them before. I'm still trying to find my little thing here okay oh, there it is and I couldn't find it okay I'm gonna put it here so I can see it all right so now yeah some kind of karma coming to the ex here has something to do with or maybe they want to get married here this this person is trying to come back though but they might be going through something okay now what's the important message for you see the important message Seven of Wands. You're going to be protecting yourself, fighting for something here. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to look at all these people coming at you, and you're going to be like protecting yourself. And we have here the Six of Cups. It could be something, memories from the past, something returning, doing something you did before. Maybe you're branching out on your own, and you're going to have to. People are saying, why are you doing that? You're going to say, hey, this is what I want to do. This is not what you want me to do. This is what I want to do. i get one more here. And we have here the King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn Energy. Okay, let me get a charm here. Okay, we had a Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles here in the present energy. And then there's someone, maybe a king of pentacles coming in. We have here a key. It's interesting though. This is like the old fashioned key that they used to like, um, it reminds me of the, for like the old fashioned radiators. We use that little thing that, that, um, got the air out. You know, you, you got the air out of the pipes. I used to always call it pissing the radiator, but it's like, um, Okay, I lived in an old-fashioned house. And, well, I should say old-fashioned. Older house, yeah. And here is the um, pirate sword. So maybe someone is cutting something out. But the, there's somebody cutting out something, getting information. Uh, this is gaining knowledge. Or this could be getting access to something or closing something off. So, however it might resonate with you, with this person. They might be into watching movies with... Um, Pirates. Hey, they might even pirate stuff. You know, like like they say pirate CDs or something. That might make sense to someone. Okay, so now let's see about the Seven of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, it looks like you might be saying, hey, I'm tired of this 
fighting with this situation here and you might be just cutting your losses and moving on here six of swords moving on moving away from something that was not serving to something better and the six of cups why is the six of cups here we have the eight of wands okay so something from the past might be coming in really quick there might be a lot of back and forth communication or something might be taken off from the past okay now this king of pentacles we have here seven of cups options choices confusion um taking a chance here here we have someone is at the carnival and they have the tickets and you know taking a chance on something it feels like maybe this king of pentacles is hoping you'll take a chance on them because you probably the queen of pentacles this is the king of pentacles or you can always reverse it if it goes the other way for you guys let's see about the seven of wands and the six of swords we have yeah something's moving quickly now we have the chariot we have the taxi we have the new york taxi taking off someone is definitely moving on from this from fighting this i'm not going to keep on have to defend myself is what i feel here now the six of cups and eight of wands yeah the queen of wands taking your power back this is some power to the people you know doing the right thing this is someone that um is a go-getter who can get the job done very persuasive okay aries leo sagittarius could be you though let's see we have another key but we have the heart and the key so someone's doing something they have the key they have the knowledge or they have the capability because they do it with passion that could be too so let's put the queen wants key there and let's see about the last one here this seven of cups we have here the page of wands okay so expect communication um this could be a letter this could be let me just put it up there so you can see it this could be a letter this could be some kind of message some kind of communication something getting to you email phone call someone come by your house but it looks like this person's going to want to uh, reach out to you okay so let's get the word on the queen of wands gift fear later committed okay so someone might be trying to give you a gift i almost feel like if someone's trying to give you a gift you might be afraid to take it because you don't want to feel like this will it'll be a fear that you might feel like you're obligated to be committed or to commit to something here okay let's see about this king of pentacles accused likely cheater will you okay so someone might accuse someone of cheating and someone's asking someone questions starts with will you okay now let's see what the vice is for you guys what is the advice the universe has for you? Spirit has for you. Let's see. We have here Page of Pentacles. Okay, there's going to offer coming in here. Hire fit for commitment. And also some might be bringing you a gift. Very strong Taurus energy. With Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for the higher fit. And then we have here Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Balancing things out. So, um... Expect an offer to come in that someone wants to commit to you and they want to have things balance out. They want to smooth things out. They want to make things right with you. Okay. And they might be bringing a gift. Let's see here. Did I? S oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, I know. I did stop, forget someone. I had to do something on the page a page of wands i thought i say didn't i have a page of wands let me put this here and i'll come back to the page of wands with the word we have here the bird communication definitely communication coming in okay i'm gonna finish these first okay let me put a charm on the page of pentacles i don't have my markers but i'm trying to do other things besides the youtube so i need the space here let's see we have here a heart a very intricate heart here so someone's coming in with love offering you something but with love 
Okay, now we'll do the Page of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Okay. Uh, so someone is trying to manifest something here. They have all the tools. So this is you. You have all the tools. Okay, Justice coming in. Some, some heavy hitters here. Okay, so it seems like you can manifest what you want here. There is justice. There's someone coming in maybe with a contract for marriage here, temperance. The world ending something, start something new. So it looks like something is ending and something new is wants to take its place. So you know, let me check on these bottom ones here. This is what you don't see coming. This is commitment. This also could be financial abundance. Something very lucrative coming in here to you. Okay, and then we have... The Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. Yeah, I would say you don't see this, but around the corner there could be some um, substantial amount of money coming in. Okay, now the Page of print Pentacles. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. Okay, we have here, ooh, we have the Six of Swords. Yes, moving on from something to something better. This is happening. There's some kind of change. You might be relocating here. Now, the Hierophant with Justice. Libra energy with the Justice. Let's see. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. To do with your work. There are what you do or what you like or what you, you know, a craft here that you do. There's going to be some kind of justice, some kind of commitment, and something's going to pay off. And we have here, okay, we have the Knight of Cups here. Temperance, the world. It looks like someone's coming in to offer you love here. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. could be anyone here. And we have here, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. What you don't see coming, Gemini, is Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Pentacles. Money, honey. It looks like around the corner, there's an opportunity coming in here. And it's divine timing. It's destiny. And, you know, this could be you starting something new. Uh, but whatever it is, it looks like financial abundance is around the corner for you. Now, let's see. I need to do the Page of Pentacles here. Oh, I need a charm on this one. Let's see. The Knight of Cups. We have here a leaf. Someone turn over new leaf. Don't want to start new with you, maybe. Okay, let's see about this page of pentacles. We have here thinking, healing, friend or friends. Okay, so someone's thinking of healing some, something. You may be being friends first or this has something to do with friends or friends. They're thinking of some healing with the friends. Or maybe involving their friends. Okay, now let's see about this Knight of Cups. Love. Sincere. Is it? Okay, so someone's coming in here with a love offer. And you're wondering if they're sincere or not. This is what's happening here. So it feels like... In the end, though, guys, you're coming into a time of financial abundance. Definitely, that is it. What you don't see coming is this. All right, so now let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs here for Gemini? What are the signs? Now, this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. I'm going to put them right here because I have room right here. We have here Virgo. Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, and Aquarius. Okay, so again, this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have J, D, got JD, F, C, B, B, R, Y, P, H, Q, headquarters. Okay, so what we have for you here for the letters are J D F C B B R Y P H Q. Now we'll do the names. Let's see what names we have here. What are the names? Come 
Okay, I think we have enough. So names we have you are Jane, Lawrence, Anishia, A N I S H I A, Sharif, S H A R I F, Sheesh, S she, she, I don't know how S H R E E C E. I think I knew how to say that before. Um, Aziz, A Z I Z, and we have Mariana, M A R I A N A, Clara, Tom. Benay, V I N A Y, Tyrone, Kenyetta, K E N Y E T T A, Kurt, C U R T, and Pauline. Okay, so I have three, six, nine, ten, fourteen names. Okay, so those are names. Oh, Scorpio came out over here. Scorpio, too. So we have 14 names. Now remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. <clears throat> and if it um, does not resonate, check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more when your other placements. And I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your super thanks, your subscribes, your comments. Um... Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.